welcome back to another episode on Ataka Garage where we are putting the RB26 back into the S15, this time for the last time. Come along for the journey and uh, see all the new powder coated parts in the car too. Alrighty, I just went to the powder coaters and I am way too hyped to wait for the rest of the stuff to be finished up tomorrow. Just got the wheels back from getting new tyres put on it and just got majority of the powder coating back. There's a, a small batch that will get done tomorrow and hopefully I can pick that up tomorrow afternoon. But my god, check this out. This is so cool. Ooh. All that dirty, grungy aluminium and metal is now all pretty. All the bushes are here from Hard Race, so thank you again for Hard Race for getting them out to us super duper quick. T37's all wrapped in squared rubber now. The uh, 245's that were on it with the hand cooks were, were poking before, and the uh, 215's which were on the back of it, these skinny little runs were so stretched it kind of looked like the car was nervous at the back there, shaking its legs, so we uh, we went 225 all around. That should allow us to uh, tuck under the guard, but also still have a, a bunch of room left for um, adjusting out all the suspension, but most of the hard race is back. Intercooler piping, subframes, AC bracket, engine mounts, brake caliper brackets, Sway bars and braces and the modified GTR sump to uh, have no dip in it. With the extender and the baffles. I, I'm so pumped. With all of this, I can get front subframe in, sump on the engine, and engine can actually go in for the last time. Cusack making memes of that. I am pumped and I, I couldn't wait for the rest of the stuff tomorrow to rock up to show you guys this because I am so excited. Hey boss. Hey boss, what are we doing? What are we doing today? about to start bolting everything back in. We spent way longer than I originally had planned just tidying things up and cleaning things, buffing bolts, just where the taping of the powder coating is, the powder builds up and gets like sharp edges. So we're just cleaning all that up. Now that uh, we've pretty much done all the prep, we can uh, start bolting everything in. So how about it boss? Being camera shy, are you? So we have the um, recode rack in with the hard race hardened bushes, the subframe, the hard race caster brace, the powder coated sway bar with the hard race hardened D rubbers, and then the caster brackets themselves. So it's starting to look nice and fresh in here. Okay, just keep the flame just on the inside edge there and we'll get it warm. I was like, did I put start your bastard in here by accident? Coat. Don't knock off all the fresh powder coat, bro. I don't think it's too thick for the uh, bolts to fit through. <laughs> see how it goes. I might have to take them out and uh, clean a bit of the powder coat off the inside of that knuckle. As we've it? done with everything else on the floor, 
knock all the powder coat off. In certain areas, yes. <laughs> and obviously not all the good you powder You can tape coat. it up as much as you want, but the powder gets through to everything. So, uh, yeah, we had to do a bit of cleaning up and tidying up, but um, yeah, I'll grab the gun and we'll see if that will pull in comfortably and break the powder coat or if I uh, need to uh, tape the knuckle back off and clean it. Got past it Comfort to spec. Not sure if you've already touched base on it, but for anyone curious what this collar might be here for. That is the ABS ring, Machu. ABS ring? Yeah. And uh, is that something that we use for the traction control that's going in it? Certainly is. I was about to about to mention that. that um, yeah, it's uh, we're retaining the factory ABS module and we're also running the uh, MoTeC ECU with the PowerTune uh, software. Sorry why you've been following me around, but yes, we're running MoTeC ECU um, and we're running the PowerTune Australia software, which uses the front and rear wheel speed and will pick up the differential between that and it will pull boost and timing and feed it back at a, a thousand hertz. So very, very fast thinking and it will uh, pull power to give, give us maximum amount of power for the traction that we've got our AB, uh, traction control setting to and then it will start feeding the power back as we get faster and faster. <laughs> I done messed up AA Ron and I did an apprentice. Some of you have uh, worked with S and R chassis before and can already see the problem. I pushed the bushes in back to front. See, I've got the uh, the offset side to the inside. Well, that's back to front because I'm a numpty, so that's going to cost me a pair of bushes and a whole lot of time to push these ones out, put new ones in it again. So I'll show you what it does. Are you recording this now time? Now I'm Matt? recording. All right, let's record my stuff up after your stuff up. We have to re-record it. Alrighty, so as I was mentioning before, I press these bushes on back the front and if you go to line it up in here, you can see that there's an offset space on the outside. And that's because I should have pushed these bushes from the outside in, not from the inside out really really stupid mistake and I'm kicking myself so much but I'll press these out I'll press new ones in unless I can press these out undamaged but I doubt it and I'll get them flipped around and we'll fix it but my apologies it is not going to be rolling in this episode because of moi <laughs> so I'll get that fixed we'll have it rolling next episode stay hyped support us by buying merch support us for buying any of the parts you see us use today on our online store at tarkagarage.com.au and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks everyone. Mm -hmm.